Hey everyone, it's Daily Linux here. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well. I know I am so far. Um, sorry I've been away quite a while. I've just been, you know, reflecting on myself on what I need to do and stuff like that during this pandemic. I've been just going on walks and stuff like that and getting through light, uh, day by day this year. So, um, yeah. Anyways. Let's get into the video. All right. So today we'll be looking at Garuda Linux. It's based off Arch Linux. Um, it comes with different environments. KDE, GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, and so on and so forth. Um, it's like any other Linux di distribution based off Arch. has a lot of cool features. It, ru it runs all the all the programs all the newest programs that are that come out day one so you if you want the latest programs then you can get them from this up this distro uh, distribution because i checked their um, forms and they're saying this open system releases the latest programs right out the bat without any just straight out so if you want the latest software that comes out right away then go for it um has a cool features has um guru a gamer if you're if you're looking for to be if you're a decent if you're a you know a gamer at heart and you like the game you can install steam um dxvk um other programs if you feel if you don't feel comfortable installing a certain program you can install dxvk that way as well Instead of search, uh, scouring the internet for DXVK um, installation, um, that's a way of doing it. Uh, it's a rolling release. Well, it will be based on Arch Linux, which ensures which always gets the latest software updates. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite quite powerful. It's really the same performance. Excuse me for the yawn. I'm always yawning at a recording video. So this is like my 50th ch chance at recording this video for yawning. Because I can yawn like crazy. So I was like, you know what? Fuck. Screw it. I'll just record a video if I'm yawning. Um, it automatically CPU frequency scaling depending on the loads. Oh, that's cool. Um, so it's, it's, it's really an interesting take. Um... It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, but one thing I've noticed that this computer or the, this operating system chugs a lot of RAM just to, you know, to keep up with the performance. So if you have, if you have eight gigs of RAM, then you should be okay. But it looks like it's, rec I would recommend having at least 16 gigs of RAM or more. If you're planning on using this as your daily driver, because right now it's using around 6.6 .6 gigs or even more uh, as the recommended uh, usage for this operating system is around 8 gigs of RAM for recommended uh, requirements for your computer to use this distro. Um, yeah, it's 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 RAM it's RAM hungry. Um, but if you're, if that's no, if that's no problem for you, then this is an, op an operating system for you to try out. Um, it has a cool feature, as I said earlier, where it, it shows you the, uh, Garuda Gamer. So you can install your software, um, easily without having you to go through the package manager or through the internet to find out how to install, let's say DXVK, um, wine tricks. Um, that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, uh, so if you're looking for an operating system that does this for you, Garuda Linux is the way to go for you. Um, it's really, really cool. It also has emulators. So if you like using LM, LM, uh, emulators, I can't say that word for some reason. Um, if you like to play Game Boy Advance, then you can download a Game Boy Advance emulator and uh, play Game Boy Advance games like Pokemon or whatever you if your whatever your heart desires. So that's the one cool thing about uh, this uh, operating uh, this distro, where it gives you a full feature set of emulators. 
and programs that you want to install. It's really, really cool. It installs OBS Studio for you, that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. It doesn't come with any LibreOffice or anything like that or OpenOffice. So you have to install it on your own. Um, other than that, there's um, no, there's really no, no bad things about this so far that I've seen. The only downside is that if you don't have enough RAM, then you're kind of on on the brink, you know, of li your limitations if you have like four gigs or maximum eight gigs of RAM. Because I don't know, it feels like eight gigs of RAM as a recommended usage is kind of stretching it for uh for a linux uh, operating system in my opinion but hey that's just if they if that's if that's what they recommend that's what they recommend right so um yeah for for you know for gaming this could be the one for you because it, you can still install software right off the bat using the garuda gamer assistant um so yeah it's really 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 cool um and uh it looks like um you can customize this to your desire like any other like any other linux distribution and um you can update your kernel as well through here running it using running uh running the 5.9 variant of the kernel which is cool. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for an operating system that does, uh, if it, uh, if you're looking for a system that installs games, like game uh, software, or helps you install DXVK, then this may be for you if you're looking for a system and a distro that does that for you, so you don't have to search around the web for to do it yourself. Then that's a great way of doing it. I recommend doing that way if you want to do it. But, um, but in my opinion, I would go something else other than uh, Garuda Linux, be just because the amount of RAM that it requires. A lot of people have limited RAM. You know, most people have, uh, let's say, eight gigs or sixteen gigs of RAM, but not a very high end, high end CPU um, uh, or processor, um, or even graphics card. Who knows? Um, so I would recommend staying away from Garuda Linux unless you have a decently high gaming computer or, or home computer that it can handle this, um, uh, Linux operating system. No problem. Other than that, go with Manjaro, Linux, Mint, uh, Ubuntu or Poppy Linux or anything else or, uh, um, or any, or any other operating system like Manjaro or something. Other that does not guzzle as much RAM as a uh, Garuda Linux does. Um, so yeah, that's my take on Garuda Linux. I know this is not really a walkthrough, but just checking it out and what I think of it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.